Mulweni Mulweni um the Kobele and Kobelanga Dala. I think it's been this is the second week now. This this yeah. So we missed we missed last week. I was supposed to see you guys last week. But after living through the week and the situation I yeah, commuted to a school in Bonilba from my last video the ambitions busy they were too high for me. So um I made that one video with the kitchen exploration, right? And um I took out a book actually, but the bigger this camera on it. It's called Painting buildings in watercolor, uh, and I'm also using my color drawing. Uh, I also read through some of the tips they have, but that one is mostly for Ecopic markers. Um, so I have the book, and I also got some watercolor paper as well. Um, so this is what you camera, and we're gonna get to it. Um, yeah, what did I miss? I because I watched the video when they when they post it, and uh, and I've I've picked up on that the action items. Uh, um, yeah, I think I've said what could be said. Yeah, let me get to it. Um, so to start the drawing off, um, this time around I decided to make a grid, a uh, grid block, essentially to get a composition, like the scaling of the, of the drawing, right, as I feel like with the previous, um, with the previous drawing, um, the curtain might have been too big with the tab too small in comparison to it actually making sense. So I drew the grid block and then um, after drawing the grid block um, on the drawing, there's also one on the picture which I've opened on my PC. I then fill in the details block by block. Um, as you can see now, um, doing the outline for the curtain and I draw very lightly um, and I remember that I didn't have the correct pencil because I hate using clutch pencil but I did not have a pencil and clutch basically is light and it makes the it makes an outline so if you erase something there's still that thing remains but um, I use what you have at the moment and you implement or you improve the next time so then the sink and the depth is what um, I really wanted to achieve this time around which is something that uh, was coming through nicely um, and I could add uh, details inside the sink as well because there were some dishes in the sink uh, bowls on the side on the dish rack the microwave I'm sketching the microwave right now um and yeah um it might seem small or or b small or inaccurate but because uh the blocks and i'm following something that has been planned and set it all it will all come out right or looking right and i think that's what makes the painting much um much clearer is if the drawing is a bit accurate um what else can I share about this? Um, I also still use the ruler to, to get some straight lines as well. Um, so it's it's a mix of sketch and ruler. The ruler mostly for the cupboards and the wall and the corners, corners at the top for some areas. But majority of this is uh, sketching the pots in the dish rack and so forth. Um, Another thing I remember about this was um, having this in this format and still having the view of the kitchen in front of me, I did feel like I um, might be off with the dish rack, but uh, overall, I think I'm happy with the way 
it slowly was coming out and most definitely the curtain got it right and um it is a sketch as well it holds so well as just a drawing it, it holds so well if i just went to the darker pen would have been fine added some shading but um because it was coming out the way i wanted it to come out i was getting more and more confidence to actually paint and sketching has been coming much easily for me these past few days since i keep a sketchbook uh which is right next to me the a5 the a5 paper college soft cover paper um is the one that i use to sketch every day and because of that i've been like in this mode of or process of looking and sketching looking and sketching yes um so yeah so that's that's me redoing this is from last week's sketch and improving this time around it's on a4 and we're using watercolor paper um so uh round about now i was adding the final touches to the curtain and then began the painting so to paint i usually start off by adding a water layer to the areas that i'm going to add color to so that there's a consistency especially if i want it to be the same color across so there's the water layer pre and then the color comes across sometimes my wood since i recycle most of the things i use the water is is not clear so it also has some of its own color that too um is added and it, it it becomes part of the process but i started with the um, tiles the wall tiles um adding water on both uh, on both ends by the by the sink and on the side by the microwave this is usually the fun part now especially that the blocks the blocks actually even guided me on where to end and where not to cross over so um what is this we call them construction lines uh, at school we call them construction lines they are so helpful uh my palette i do not wash it as often as i should but um i mix color and i should be uh checking the color in another piece of paper but um i think in due time that too is something that i'm going to start getting into as well so i mix the color it should be tested on a piece of watercolor paper to see how it's going to come up but i trusted myself so much in in this in this exercise so i didn't do that instead i passed on the color straight onto the paper but there was a water layer so the the color would blend consistently to all the sides that i wanted it to to get to i think here i was using a flat brush a flat small brush um i'm using the smaller brushes with the small tips um because um it, it i'm still trying to avoid other i laying the color over other areas um so then we moved on to the kitchen cupboards the kitchen cupboards as well have this caramel brown to it so it's sort of like a an extension from the brown from the wall tile so i still use that same brown but um here we are applying the base so there's there's the base that we're adding to this kitchen cupboard and then you add water and you mix the color and you come again then that's the first layer then you keep layering to to get darkness but i know there's different methods but with the way i approached this was to to go layer by layer if i wanted to get darker um or mix in like mix in less water mix in less water and have a thick concentration of the of the paint that also gives you a dark color yeah so the wall tile and the actual wall there's a it, the wall is a lighter tone it's a lighter brown 
and then the wall tile I intended it to be a bit darker than the wall and then the kitchen cupboard is meant to be dark like light, light darker but uh, sort of like leveling up also with with how we view things in in architecture the further away it is the lighter it is the closer it is the darker we make it to show that it's in front of you so that that usually gets the most color strength if i can put it like that i do enjoy just filling in the the little details around avoiding the sink here i am going under iketin and then just um, after a sink, so it mustn't touch a sink and it mustn't touch a curtain, but then the wall shows a little bit there. So that brown, passing that brown through, um, I had so much fun doing that. Yes, I had fun doing that. <laughs> um, and also thinking whilst doing this, well, because cause now the, the sink and the way the, the, the table is, is, uh, is also laid out. I'm also thinking whilst going with the bronze, how I'm gonna make sure I get the light tones, and how I'm gonna make sure that uh, this is giving the the depths that it needs to give. Yeah. Oh, um, apa. Oh, Ludonga. That's that's the wall. A bit of the wall is also showing there. So it's sort of like an encompassed. Is it? like like a box of sort of in a box we cut the box and and there's there's some depth this is really like in a 3d it's a three-dimensional scene that we are looking at okay so now the parts that i left i also leave them to dry and every time i move to another part it's not because i'm done but i have to leave it to dry and i come back to it um, what was I doing with that pen? <sighs> uh, okay, so some brown on the cupboard as well. Brown on the... And there's a, actually a washing machine just at the end of, just under the... That table towards the end by the microwave. Oh, then we begin with e, e highlights, highlights, should I say highlighting or, or just like in, emphasizing, emphasizing detail parts. So that's the end of the, the plate for Isinki. That part is usually much closer to the view, right, to where you'd be standing. So whatever color that is, it has to be darker than the cupboards because the cupboards are a bit, um, how, how do I put this? The cupboards the, are more further away than that edge. So that edge is technically supposed to be darker than the, than the kitchen cupboards, if you get me. So... Now we moved, I started moving away from brown and uh, whatever I was mixing there, I was trying to make sure I get uh, closer to a grayish situation. But it's still looking brown. I don't know how I got this color actually now that I think about it. Um, but this is now moving towards the gray, which is what the sink sink top looks like so that's is that the granite um yes and then now i started i started moving into yeah darkening that as well adding adding keep keep layering some color i kept layering some color there and now the the edge and the top of the thing started blending as well okay now next is um using the thin round brush for for the sh shadowing for the shadows or for yeah to 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 highlight the the darker edges to I'll say darker edges. Now, 
Ikabad usually um, also it creates some some shade as well in between and you, you sometimes make notes in your sketch in your preliminary sketch okay this part that's where a lot of shade is so it's a bit darker than the rest it doesn't mean that the cupboard is still not brown but because um it is blocking the light and is creating a shadow um i have to go in on those edges that are darker then it was the thin flat brush with the next layer of brown so second coating for the kitchen cab cabinets cabinets is it cabinet kitchen cupboards um so that's the second layer with the brown and i really must say i like how this is just blending in there and i see a bit of the curtain as well and the pots are not so light even though the drawing is getting a bit darker and I shadowed in the, the base of the microwave as well because that also leaves some shadow and that's also coming out so I do I did mention I recycle a lot and I use a little because if I put in a lot I never use the whole thing so I to to reduce waste and make sure I use even previous color that was left in my plate. Yeah. Uh, I know I've been cycling a way, way to move now. Because you look at it, you keep applying and you think, okay, where to next? So that's that's that area where the a bit of a micro e washing machine, I mean, starts showing. Um, I was thinking of coloring the whole thing, but then I needed to leave some room for a bit of a washing machine. So I'm, I'm here to finish the area. I'm here to finish the area. Um, coating again. Sink edges. Mix, so it's water, color then pay on the paper mm -hmm. and you can do it you can do it the opposite way you can start with the color then some dab on the water and then you go hoy in the drawing it's all up to you um, but i start with the water so that i can control if i want i want it to be light by adding a lot of water it'll be a light color and if i add little water it'll give me a strong color even if it, i'm coating you still you're still doing a whole color control you still work on a lot of color control oh bless me yeah uh, this is it's so good to actually watch this <laughs> and give it a commentary i'm just enjoying this oh uh, that's a that's a that's a thick flat brush and some tissue if sometimes you know, so we use tissue to sort of like uh, in a way, erase, but to take that concentration immediately away. I felt a bit too much. So it just the tissue absorbs the um, the water and the color. So kind of like in the essence of, of erasing, but not technically erasing, just minimizing the water. Uh, so we've got the basics done. I think now I was moving towards the tree. Yeah, so there's a tray on the microwave. Oh no, is that is that the district? Okay, I do apologize. It's not clear what I'm doing because of Isandla Sams. It's hiding that. I am working on finding better angles to be as transparent. Um, I think the next time I will try to have the camera at the top so you get a top view. Um, but I think this, for me, it's looking clear enough. Uh, okay, the, the, the cupboards, yeah. So the cupboards, I'm still going to be coating those cupboards. I'm still going to be adding coats and coats and coats. 
it's nowhere near but it's it's giving the brown text this caramel brown texture somehow that i like and i'm happy with thin round brush is important it is important to get that those small details in and to just go like in oh and i'm loving this um this, this dark chocolate that's just mm. <laughs> whatever we were busy why did I, I don't know what happened but it looks like halfway through the color became lighter on the concentration yeah pallet, well, um, but I didn't I didn't go back to mm, seeing this now I'm gonna have to fix that or can you work on it again uh, okay so I now I realized there's some colors that I can't mix in my palette and I discovered that I can use my markers. Yay! <laughs> Yay! So here we go and look at that whole collection that I have that's just been chilling. So um, now at, at first I was using it to, 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 to make up for the areas where I don't have wool gray. Uh, I decided excuse me and i decided to um use it to highlight the the micro edges which honestly is not rubbing off of me at all at all um but we'll make a plan we'll walk around it oh my goodness but it's given the microwave the depth that it needs and the and the shade and the lighting that it needs Uh, and the dishes in the sink are clear, the tap as well, looking much smaller, actually. The markers really helped with sinking. They really have because I want to like gray, that, that dish, dish washing, like, but, like, <laughs> I want your pie, pie, because they were kind of like depth that shows a little bit that this sinky has some tips in it. Um, it's really starting to come out. And I, I did take some tips from my color drawing book. Um, and it talks a lot about how you can mix the markers to get dimension. So, uh, bless me. So, um, yeah, so that's, Adding some depth to the sink as well to show that I wanna it's this that it goes in. Um, but that was a pleasant surprise. And and you know, like these things of, of deciding, oh maybe let me substitute with the Kovic. These things only happen when you're in the mix. You never actually think that uh, you come across You never think you'll come across um, certain areas where you're missing color. So the improv that happens as well, it's beautiful to see. Um, so that's, uh, that's now the curtain. The curtain lace. Do we call it the curtain lace? What do you call Iketin Mosle, Pambilna, Lengemba? I'm sure they both have two different names. But Iketin at the end of the day. So Le Pambile is usually you give it a stronger color than the one that's the lace behind it unless those are the colors that you're given um but in in our case our curtain is actually gray white towards the white side but for fictional purposes i would like to show that and i think i need to just add some shadowing there by the curtain but I'm happy with how that too came out. Um, and I think I started moving back to, to the dish rack. So every time you, you succeed in something, you quickly think about, okay, my next problem, what am I gonna, how am I gonna achieve this in my next phase? This next part, this next part of the dream, this is going well. It's, it's, so it's problem solving. 
Mm, probably not something in the mix. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> I don't know what I just said there. But I like how that sketch and and this new sketch, although one has proportion and the other technically doesn't look so similar. And I the the pen one I really I really do like it. But pen and watercolour is something that I don't really like mixing because the pen bleeds with the water so that just gives you oh my goodness it just gives you what you don't want it to give you what i don't want it to give me actually let me put it like that um the pen as i used it previously um i use it to to just darken some parts that have disappeared and that's yeah that's the drawing so far so if I decided to pause, and this is how it looks so far. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and my messy plate. Oh, the picture. Uh, yeah, so that, that's that. And this has been Upinda from the editing room. Back to Upinda on the video. And pause there. Uh, okay, so that's... That's all I could manage to do. Um, Jizo, I'm going to clip this as part one. And otherwise, um, I've already spent three to four hours on this. Um, but yeah, um, interesting thing. But all of a sudden, I realized back in Mixi Marker's app. So uh, because I'm not Ukraine. Usually, Ukraine means I go, go black and white. But ooh, Chinese white one. I want to actually like I want to do fully. It's finished. Like it, it dried. I want to like. So I technically don't have white, and it doesn't necessarily have to be black or white. But um, if I had some white to lighten that color, I could get gray. Um, so then I used the marker, and then I realized, but well, okay, because I want the kitten to be lighter this time around. With the previous drawing, um, I just made it colorful because I was avoiding the the lace and and then the front lace thing to show that because i didn't have the color um but it was overall a good session i think i i think it was a good session on on my side um depending what opinion that the editor thinks <laughs> if she thinks it's a good session it's a good session um or from the from the lens from the lens um thanks for tuning in and i will see you in part two we have to finish this get this kitchen right and i have other pictures of other parts of the kitchen as well maybe i'll explore it on my own on my sketchbook and and work on the color thing but it's looking like i need to really invest in getting some colors but i do also want to to take my time in getting this exploration Thing right in image and I don't mind going over and over until I get it right before I move to the next thing um, yeah that's that's all I will say on this I did really like this I wanna I had made this journey get twenty I'm trying to twenty six I made this get get twenty and I was sitting here I put the paper and I was planning to draw, but because of Ukatala, I only finished the sketch and I was like, okay, the proportions are Because also, this, the, the previous one, the previous sketch as well, I, I don't think I got the composition right. Ne, ne proportion. There's so many things I wasn't happy with. And A3 is such an overwhelming... Um, A3 paper is such an overwhelming scale. It's actually big. A3 is big. Normally, A3 is small when, when I do, like um architecture drawings it, it's actually like just the base but when it comes to this stuff and i'm the one getting the details ah that's too big um so i made this a sketch and i really liked it and i wanted to color on this i actually wanted to test color on it but because i'm using remember i said i'm just using an exercise soft cover book um i i cannot paint on that which means um, a practice sketchbook also needs to have 
watercolor quality so that I can test the colors and go over. Then once I get to the actual drawing, I know what what hits where. So at least for now, um, I've improved on the previous one and I'm happy with how it's looking so far. I mean, if I could leave it here, I'd leave it here. I'm really happy with how Iketi Nipumi Le. Oh, you know, I'm so relieved because I was so worried about Le, le drawing. But I followed the, the steps. I did a grid. I drew on the grid. I didn't just sketch. I followed the grid and um, put some color. I'm letting it dry. Also, it, it, it keeps needing to dry. That's why this thing is taking so long. I'm planning it. Um, because Bale, like, Pago five just before five, go be to eight, so it's been four hours, and you can't continuously add water. You have to leave the leave the paper to dry and so forth and so forth. So for a sketch diary part part one, we'll leave it at this. That's all I have to say. Have a good evening.